Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be giving you an update on my previous tutorial for Elite Dangerous Odyssey Materials Helper or EDOMH. That previous tutorial was for version 1.90 of EDOMH which is now on version 2.18. If you haven't seen that tutorial then you need to watch that video first to learn how to install, configure and use EDOMH. You can find a link to that video in the description to this video below. This video is only outlining new additions to EDOMH since that tutorial was made. I have stayed in touch with the creator of EDOMH, Shixt, and between us we have agreed there are now enough new features to require an updated tutorial. I'm also adding all the tutorials for EDOMH to their own playlist, to which I will also add any future tutorials, so you can then find them all in one place. Jixt wanted me to let you guys know that since Thursday the 23rd of February the Fleet Carrier Update API has not been working. This is down to Frontier making changes to their API system that have messed it up. Jixt has been in touch with them about it and they are looking into it but until they sort out the issue then the updates to EDOMH from Fleet Carriers will not be working. If you are watching this tutorial at a future date then the issue may already be fixed for you but just be aware that in this tutorial the fleet carrier connection is not working. You can check on the status of this issue, see any planned features and get support for EDOMH itself over at Jixt's Discord server, which there is a link to in EDOMH's About section here. Ok, let's get on with the update. Let's start with the Horizon section and the Materials tab. The first change is the closest trader row across the top here. This shows the closest raw encoded and manufactured traders to your current location. If you click on one of the system names, they are copied to your clipboard for you. If you hover your mouse pointer over one of the materials, we can see a few more changes. A where to find section has been added, showing where you can find this material, and a down trade section has also been added to the pop-up. This shows what materials you can downgrade from to get more of this material. For example, here I have 160 sulphur, and if I needed more, I can down trade some of the manganese, cadmium, or ruthenium that I already have to get up to these amounts of sulphur. Below this section are the recipes that the material is used in which are now in collapsible menus that you can click on to open and close. Some of these recipes are now highlighted in blue. This is because the recipes for the experimental effects are now shown here as well as the recipes for blueprints. The recipes highlighted in blue are experimental effects and the ones in grey are the blueprint recipes. Any new materials or commodities that have been added to the game in update 14 have been added to EDOMH and if we switch to the commodities tab, at the very bottom, power play materials have also now been added to this section. Switching to the wishlist tab there is now a new feature where the amount available will switch to the amount remaining when you hover your mouse pointer over it like so. This works on both the red and yellow coloured material listings. When you hover your mouse pointer over the material listings in your wishlist, they also have the same information in the pop-up as the materials do in the materials section. There is also now a search at the top here, which is very helpful if you have a large list of materials in your wishlist like this. You can simply type part of the material name that you are looking for. So say I was looking for classified scan data banks. I can just type in classified and when I scroll down the list any material that has that word in the name is highlighted with a yellow border, like so. Switching to the engineers tab we have a couple of new additions here. First, we now have a search bar at the top in this section too. It works similar to the one in the wishlist section. It allows for searching on name, location, specialization or blueprints. For example, if I type plant here then I see all the engineers that engineer power plants. And if I type Brig, then I see Mel Brandon, who is located at the Brig. And if I type Brew, then I just see Brew Tarquin. The other new addition here is that any blueprints that we have pinned in the blueprints section will now appear listed under each of the engineers. As you can see, I have several that I have pinned. And as with the other blueprint listings, clicking on the listing takes you directly to that blueprint in the left side menu. Whilst we're in the left side menu, there are a few things that have been added here. 
In the Engineer Unlocks tab, if you select one of the engineers that you haven't fully upgraded yet, then you can see information on how you can gain reputation with that engineer. If we switch to the Tech Broker Blueprints tab, there is now a section for each of the blueprints showing where the closest tech broker is and what type it is that you need. You can also click on the system name here to copy it to your clipboard. The new Sirius Tech Broker blueprints for the heatsink launcher and for the AX missile racks have also been added. Under the Synthesis tab, there is now the blueprint for the new Caustic Sync Synthesis. I think that about covers things for the Horizon section. So now let's head over to the Odyssey tab. In the Materials section here, we have a new filter option. Not or more than on wishlist. This shows all the materials you have that are either not on a wish list or that you have in excess of the total amount that you require across all your wish lists. Another new addition here is the wish list icon that is displayed when you hover your mouse pointer over a material. This shows how many of the items you require across all your wish lists. Moving on to the bartender tab, there has been a redesign of this section. Both the buy and sell values are now beneath the material name and to the right we now have icons showing how many of the items we have in our backpack, in our ship and on our fleet carrier as well as the wishlist icon showing how many we require for the blueprints in our wishlist. To the right of these is the quantity of this material that we have all together. When you click on one of the materials it takes you to this screen which functions exactly the same as it did before but it has been updated again with the new design. There is now a section here which shows the recipes that the material is used in as you hover your mouse pointer over the different materials. There is also now a bartender overlay in game which you can enable and choose a colour for here in the settings. This is what it looks like in game. You can see the white headings and numbers that I have highlighted with the red box. If we have a look at the engineer unlocks, there is now this section giving tips on how to go about fulfilling the unlock requirements for all of the Odyssey engineers. Jixt has also added new export formats. You can now choose to export in both CSV or XLS formats, both here in the wish list and if you go into the settings, you can also export your entire inventory in the same formats. Here you can also opt to have your Galaxy data shared with EDDN to help keep everything up to date online. If you use other third party programs that also have this feature, then you only want this enabled in one of them as getting too many updates all at once can overload the EDDN server. There is also now separation for live and legacy accounts, so you can keep track of your engineering for all of your accounts. As Frontier are regularly adding new materials and commodities to the game, Jix has now made it so that if you come across one that hasn't already been added to EDOMH, then you will get a notification that the material is unknown to EDOMH and the new material or commodity will be automatically reported to Jix so that you can then add it to EDOMH. From version 2 of EDOMH, Jix has added a notification message requesting people to update the latest version if they are not already running the latest version. For anyone running a version prior to that, Jix has asked that I let everyone know that they need to upgrade in order for the updates to remain compatible with EDDN. Last but not least, Jix has also added persistence. So now when you open EDOMH, it opens right back up at the tab where you left it. Okay, I think that's it. That's all the uh, relevant updates that's gone in since the last tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like as that will help it to get seen by others. If you would like to see more videos like this, then consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to get a notification whenever I release a new video. As always, I'll see you out in the black. 07 Commanders, 